The Minerals Council is absolutely adamant that we want a commercially available cadastral system in South Africa, and that message is conveyed to both the DMRE and the Council for Geoscience on an ongoing basis. Um, we really feel that we're going to unlock the potential of this country. We need a mining cadastra along with um, a flow through share tax system. I was first asked to talk about the South African mining cadastra system, and, and um, as I'm sure most of you know, um, Dean Laurie went out on the tender uh, over a year ago. And I guess a bit like um, exploration activities, um, as, a, as a junior explorer, um, some opportunities that you evaluate uh, won't make sense to you, and for a, a cost or risk uh, waiting, you, you decide to walk away from the opportunity, while maybe another explorer will, will take on um, that project. We chose to walk away from, uh, from tendering on the, on the DLRE um, uh, tender. We didn't understand the, the drivers behind their terms of reference. Um, it's obviously something that we, we agonized about, but um, we chose not to, not to bid on that. Um, but at the same time, um, we, uh, Botswana went out to tender. We won the tender, um, and we're now a few weeks away from, from going live that system while the DMRE is still as, as far as I understand it, still uh, debating between DMRE, um, uh, CETA, and the uh, um, tender um, auditors. So I'm going to talk a bit about the project in, um, in Botswana. So probably by the end of, uh, of October, um, there's going to be a new portal uh, that you're going to be able to register and, and log in to. It's got multi-factor multi authentication, so you'll be able to log in um, securely. Once you enter the, the system, you'll be presented with a, uh, a, a dashboard of all of the uh, mineral rights um, allocated to, uh, to you or the company that you represent, and you'll be able to then um, monitor all of your obligations, make online payments, um, upload your work reports, um, upload your production statistics, um, etc., whatever the obligations for that particular exploration or, or mining right are. But um, what I'm going to give you a few screenshots of today is just how to apply for uh, for a new license. Um, so there's a um, you know you can you can click on apply for a new license. You can decide what type of license you want to apply for. In this in this case, I'm going to apply for a um, prospecting license for energy minerals. Um, and you go to this next page and you uh, select commodities. In this, this case, I'm, I'm, I'm exploring for um, for uh, uranium. You then go and you either um, upload the shape file, digitize on screen, or enter coordinates for the, for the area that you want to apply for. Obviously, you can see all of the um, tenure um, in, the, in the background, as well as protected um, areas or, or, or other um, um, exclusion zones. So here we, we, we digitize very simple um, square. What the system does in real time is it does real time overlap detection. And on the, on the panel on the, on the um, right hand side, you can see that the area that I've applied for overlaps with um, three restricted areas, and it overlaps with the, with the fourth restricted area, which is just giving me a warning. In, in, um, in Botswana, you can have overlapping rights for different um, groups of, of commodities. So, so three of these rights that have overlapped with, it's restricted, I, I cannot proceed, um, and in the fourth case, I would be able to proceed with a with a warning. So what you do then is you, you click this button here and you say clip all and the system automatically in real time then clips your shape to now the only area that's available. So it reduces the size so you don't you don't um, pay a, a application fee for an area that's not going to get they granted to you and you can see it in real time decide whether that's appropriate to you when you want to go um, expand the license to the to the west or, or, or whatever you want to do once you are once you are happy with that, you go through to the next step, which is uploading all of the supporting documents and obviously for the different types of um, type of right, the different different documents required. You go through and you, you, you upload those those documents. You click submit. You make the online payment, and you will receive um, instantaneously an email confirmation from from the ministry saying thank you for your um, thank you for your mineral right. What that does then is kick off the process in. Um, in our back office um, solution, 
where the, um, the licensing officers will then start to review all of that documentation um, before going on to the next um, stage of the, um, of the approval process. Instantaneously, that application is now available on the public viewing portal. So anybody in the world would be able to see that is a new application. In some countries, they, they mask out the name of the applicant. They just put the shape there and, and, and the other details. Um, but in most countries, it's um, you know you can see the company that's applied um, and you can see what commodities um, and the date that applied for, for that right, and that is immediately available. As, as the applicant, I can now go into what we call the license details page, and you can see this is now my area that, that's, um, that's, that's being evaluated. Um, you can see that the status of the license is application pending, document verification. So the first step of that workflow is for the, um, for the um, license officers to evaluate all of that, um, all of the supporting material. Once they're happy, um, they will um, let you know that you've got an obligation, and this is the obligation page, where you need to upload your program of, of operations um, for further evaluation um, before they uh, choose to, to award um, the, the license to you. So this is the, the online viewing map. Um, so you know, some of the ones I've, I've showed you before, available to the public 24-7, real-time updated as new applications come in, or applications lapse, or um, relinquishments are done, you'll be able to see all of those changes in real-time um, through, the, through the system. You know, South Africa and, and, and the Council of Geosciences has, has recently done, done great work here. Um, Botswana um, has been publishing their um, geodata for, for some while. They've got what they call the um, Botswana Geoscience Portal. Um, with all of the um, exploration data sets in that you go in and you can um, view and download, um, we will have a real-time integration with that. Um, so um, instead of having a, 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 a large monolithic system trying to do everything, we uh, are connecting to other um, Botswana government systems out there.